it came from another star glowing, shifting, and now silent. NASA has the images, but the agency is silent for now. As that mysterious object changes color again, the mystery is only deepening, and the world is starting to ask, was it sent by someone? Our next report getting you some details. It came from beyond the stars, a lone traveler drifting through the frozen black of the interstellar space. T.I. Atlas, the third known visitor from another solar system, but unlike anything before it, this one behaves as if it has a mind of its own. First detected in late 2025, it moved too fast, too bright, too deliberate. At first, scientists called it a comet, a natural wanderer made of rock and ice. But then it began to change. From icy blue to emerald green, then to a faint reddish pulse. Not once, but three separate times. Each color shift happened suddenly and without any thermal reason. Astronomers say no comet in history has behaved this way. But this one, 3i Atlas, is really interesting. It's what's called an interstellar comet. Um, that means it actually came to our solar system from another star system. So this comet was not born around the sun. It was born elsewhere. It's been drifting through space um, on its own, and it just randomly encountered the solar system. And so it's on a, what's called a hyperbolic orbit. It's going to pass it already passed by the sun and then it's just going to keep going never to come back again heading back out into into interstellar space nasa's telescopes locked on the hubble space telescope the james webb even radar arrays from the deep space network captured data then silence For weeks now, NASA has refused to release the high-resolution images of 3i Atlas. No press statements, no data, as the U.S. government shut down paralyzed key agencies. NASA's silence over the mysterious interstellar visitor 3i Atlas sparks confusion, suspicion and online theories that the agency was hiding something extraordinary. 3i Atlas continues to defy explanation. Its surface glows in strange wavelengths. It bends sunlight in ways that mimic energy reflection, as if it's coated with engineered material. And now, as it drifts away slowly from our sight, its signature grows weaker and colder. Was it a natural comet born in some distant dying star system? A broken probe from another civilization still sending signals into the dark, or something more. A silent observer passing through, watching us. NASA knows the facts. Somewhere in its data vaults, those unreleased images sit unseen, unexplained, unanswered, and out there in the dark between worlds. 3i Atlas keeps moving, silent, shifting, alive with secrets. Bureau Report, we on World is One. On to the battleground in Bihar, in India. It's only heating up. The stage is set for the crucial first phase of the Bihar Assembly elections. The fourth largest assembly in India. The ruling NDA will be squaring off against the opposition in 121 constituencies on Thursday. The high-stakes contest featuring familiar heavyweights, Margaret Bandhan's chief ministerial face, Tinesh Yadav, NDA's second-in-command, Samrat Chaudhary, Lalu Prasad's elder son, Tej Pratap Yadav, now estranged from the family and party and contesting under his new political banner. 
Officials from seven countries, including France, South Africa, Belgium, are set to witness polling in Bihar, in fact, as a part of the Election Commission's International Election Visitors Program. At least 14 participants from the Philippines, Thailand, Colombia, other countries attended the inaugural session of this program. It is a flagship program of the Election Commission for international cooperation and engagement with the election bodies of other countries. The central themes of this crucial electoral battle are as pressing as they are complex. Unemployment, corruption, the decline of education, healthcare dominating the discourse. Tijashvi Yadav's pledge of one government job for every household, translating to a staggering 1.3 crore jobs over five years, strikes a chord. And this is in contrast to the NDA manifesto, which promises one crore government jobs and aims to create one crore women earning at least over $1,000. And according to a report by the Association for Democratic Reforms, uh, Kaushal Pratap Singh contesting Loria is the richest candidate in the second phase of the Bihar election, declaring assets worth over 360 crore rupees. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of Ravitas tonight. This is me, Molly Gambhir, signing off. And as we say goodbye, getting you the special report on the celebrations in India. Thanks for watching. Victorious Indian Women's World Cup team met the Indian Prime Minister at his residence today. Prime Minister Modi congratulated the women in blue and hailed their historic ach achievement. The world champions, led by the captain Harman Preet Kaur and the head coach, arrived at the Prime Minister's residence amid a lot of cheering and smiles. Prime Minister Modi welcomed the team and congratulated them for bringing immense pride to the nation. The Prime Minister and the players had a lengthy interaction. The Prime Minister praised the team's resilience and their remarkable comeback after their three consecutive after three consecutive defeats earlier in the tournament he also acknowledged the criticism that they faced on social media and lauded their determination to rise stronger a new dawn has started for women's cricket in india a glorious sunrise after years of waiting in the shadows in a way after india were crowned world champions for the first time on Sunday, the women in blue defeated South Africa by 52 runs in the ICC Women's ODI World Cup final, a triumph that heralds a bright new era. The entire country united in jubilation and plaudits have been coming in from the entire world. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.